Oh no! I'm under arrest! Help! <laughs> Yabba dabba doo! You're gonna make Bandit so happy if you'll just take one moment to help us grow. Well, this was a uh, serendipity right across the street from the uh, Flintstones bed Bedrock City is this mobile gas station which is also a rocks and more store and back here they have all kinds of metal sculptures of cowboys, Indians, horses, stagecoach. This is uh, this is an amazing amount of work here, all metal and all beautiful. Here, someone in the comments asked me if I'd seen any petrified wood. Well, I haven't seen any myself out in the wild, but these stones right here are all petrified wood. An amazing, amazing large pieces of petrified wood. Look at this, look at this cowboy here. How's it going, partner? Riding this bull. Yeah, this is something. And here's a, here's a good old boy cowboy getting ready to lasso something. And back here, Behind the fence, there's a lot more stuff. Rocks and more. That's something that you, uh, you don't want to miss if you're on your way to the Grand Canyon. A couple things that you just don't want to miss. One is Bedrock City, Flintstones Bedrock City, Fred Flintstones house, and across the street, this Rocks and More store. This is uh, it's very interesting, very amazing. Look at this giant stone right here. This is a petrified tree. That thing's got to be seven feet in circumference maybe eight it's it's just it's just huge and look at the uh, striations where the wood has been petrified that's very very interesting they've had some really bad windstorms here lately so we got a couple of horses laying down from the wind I'm sure somebody will be by to pick them up eventually. Looks like we got a uh, looks like we got a hijack in progress here. Somebody coming to rob the stage. Here we got a a cowboy that's shooting behind him. The way it's staged, it looks like he's shooting at this Indian, but man, he's pointing way off to the right. Here again is another gigantic piece of petrified wood. This thing is the biggest one yet. I'll bet you this one is I bet you this one is 15 or 18 feet in circumference. Just a 
huge. We got a we got a rig here. It's been running from bandits or the Indians. It's got a got a busted axle down here. And fortunately all the passengers got out alive. You can see the arrows up on the roof line there. Pretty, pretty nice stuff. Boy, uh, I don't know for sure. I, th I think those are veins of copper in that stone. And uh, this is such a darker blue. I'm not sure what, uh, what that might be. Any of you that are geology majors, maybe you want to comment and tell me what you think those mineral veins were looking back here we see more interesting stuff a, it's like a cowboy sitting on a bench another one riding a horse we see the, uh, the sorting tables for rocks Got a lot of a lot of rocks, but they got uh, they got cow skulls and horns and boy, this uh, this metal here, this metal sculpture has been been shined up some. Looks like it was a while ago it was shined up because it's got some rusty patches on it, but just beautiful beautiful work and man hours and hours and hours of work and over here we got the burrows you know some people say that the west was built on the back of the burrow more than on the back of the horse holy smoke look at this i think this is a geode a giant geode that must be worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, I would say. But, I really wouldn't know. Because somebody out there that's my viewer is more of a geology expert than I am. Put it in the comments what you think some of this stuff is. Look at all that glittery stuff in there. I don't know if that's fool's gold or what. That kind of light blue looks like it might be copper to me, but but I don't really know. More petrified wood there. Another metal horse. Holy smoke! Now this is smart. They got this one all locked up. But look at that! Again, I think this is called a geode before that side was broken up right there so you could see the inside. It just looked like a big black stone like that. And some way, somehow, they determined what was inside there and uh, they cut it open and found a beautiful discovery. Look at the size of this. Is this an agate? Again, you guys, you friends of mine on YouTube are going to have to tell me. That is uh, huge. There's my hand. That's the size of that pumpkin. It's amazing. I think the store is closed. Even though the sign says open, yep. Sign says open, but the door, but the door's locked. Man, there's some pretty stuff in there. Well, I sure hope that one day 
you all would find your way on the way to the north rim of the Grand Canyon and that you would stop by this rocks and more store it is something else okay Papadale checking out <laughs> well hi friends it's Papadale and uh, we are on our way to the Grand Canyon today where I hope to get a lot of real pretty shots but uh, just filling up with gas and uh, leaving the area I uh, happen to notice all of these great cars I swear the uh, the Southwest just has a love affair with great old cars and this one is a police car at least it's painted up to be that way in Russell, New Mexico they have a free museum of old cars uh, they do, yeah Russell yeah I've been there and done a whole video on it thank you no that's okay I appreciate the input this is uh, this is a great car right here I like this what is it it's a Chevrolet I don't know it's uh, 30s though so uh, uh, I could be going to jail here oh no I'm under arrest! Help! <laughs> well, anyway, here we go. Here's a, here's an old Ford that uh, hasn't been restored yet. Probably going to be. That's probably not the fellow that's going to restore it. An old porthole Thunderbird. My mother-in-law's favorite car. What is it, a 57? I don't know. Fifty six. Oh, one would think they would have some information about it here. But they don't. Oh, here's a uh, here's a beauty here. Pretty, pretty. A lot of work goes into restoring one of these. A lot, a lot of work. Probably can't see inside that either. So here's a, here's an old Chevy that uh, needs a little bit of care. And I suppose before it's all said and done that it'll be in as good a shape as some of these others here. Pretty nice. Oh, that's a Packard. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I don't see many of those around. Here's the old, uh, here's the old gas pumps when I was in high school that we used to use. And here's the old gas pumps when my dad was in high school that they used to use. Pretty, pretty nice. They've done a lot of work here. They got some work to go, but they've done a lot of work here. But we're on our way, so we'll say goodbye for now. Goodbye! <laughs>